Hey everybody, we are the Fair Family and we are here at Ministerios de Amor in Guadalajara, Mexico. And this is a boys home uh, for orphan boys. Many of them were found on the streets. And Ministerios de Amor means Ministries of Love. And we've been working here for about eight months as a family project and we would like to just share with you a little bit about what's going on here. I hear you calling me, Jesus. I hear the voice. So phase one is going to take care of uh, basic needs. We've already been able to buy school shoes, uh, weeks worth of socks and underwear for all the kids thanks to the donations that have already come in. Um, and now uh, we'd like to take care of some more basic needs. Uh, they have glass slatted windows that are very dangerous. Uh, they all need tennis shoes. So phase one is going to take care of basic needs. Phase two is going to take care of some of the bigger needs. And we have a local pastor who is an architect who has volunteered his time and his services and has done blueprints that will totally revolutionize uh, the facilities here. So right now, um, the whole place is in desperate need of paint um, and upgrade. And phase two will take care of that. Phase one and phase two have been about changing these boys' lives through financial donations and practical. We first want to disciple these boys. We want to train them in life. And that principally means bringing in pastors to do daily discipleship. We want to train them in theology and apologetics. We want to teach these guys so when they leave, uh, they know the word, they understand the Bible. It is their lives and not just a part of their lives. Secondly, we want to teach them to be givers and not just takers. The leadership team here has been taking them to cancer ward at the hospital. They have adopted poor families in a poor neighborhood. And then thirdly, in phase three, we want to help these boys so when they turn 18, to go out and be contributing members of society. And this means teaching them a trade, sending them to college, and giving them all possible aid that we can. So eight months ago when we arrived here, we noticed that this place was in serious disrepair. There was no schedule. Six out of the 30 kids were going to school. They didn't do any chores. There was no order. The week before we arrived, the new directors, Eugenio and Sylvia, had arrived. They have dramatically revolutionized the care of the children, the way that, um, that they are being discipled and taught, and the things that they are learning have totally changed. I am so happy to be a part of an orphanage that is, that is not just taking, but they are really being proactive. Um, they have involved the government. Um, the government has actually donated them a brand new 15 passenger Honda vehicle uh, and two trucks. They are involved with uh, various local churches that are helping uh, practically with food and different things. One of the great things about participating in this orphanage is, it, is that we're not just the sole um, suppliers of funds but we're just a small part of what God is doing here in the lives of these children. Hey everybody, I just want to introduce you to Jorge. And uh, Jorge uh, is 12 years old and he's been cross-eyed all his life. And he's suffered ridicule for it. He has very low self-esteem. He's had trouble in school because of it. And we were able to raise uh, the money uh, from friends at First Baptist and friends all across the country to get his eyes fixed. He had his surgery yesterday. And um, today we're on the way to go uh, take off the bandages and uh, Jorge will see uh, correctly for the first time in his life.
doctors and anesthesiologists and uh, a lot of different uh, people at the hospital have donated their time and, uh, and, and really all we're paying for is the cost, the actual cost of the surgery. We're very excited about uh, the things that we're going to do in the future and uh, the possibilities that we have to change uh, kids' lives. Thank you. Muchas gracias por todo y que Dios los bendiga grandemente. Georgia's life is just one example of how people just like you are changing lives down here in Mexico. If you'd like to be a part of the ministry here at Ministerio de Amor, then please don't hesitate to contact me or the U.S. representative of Ministerios de Amor.